Hey guys, this is Pat and Heidi from Rank Country Homestead, and God is good all the time. And today we want to talk about five ways food storage saves, and that is part four of our part five. four. Yeah, part four. Part of four of part our four. Four, <laughs> five. Of our five ways to save series. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and put a link up here to the playlist so you can see the first three videos. Or if you're coming in later, you'll see all whatever videos we've added on to it by the, the time you see it. Right. Okay, part number one is buying in bulk, growing your own food, in shopping sales. And what that does is it also it allows you to gain gain food storage because you're actually doing these things in bulk and so that's that's uh so you're saving money by because you're buying in bulk and you're correct. shopping sales you're not, and your you're, garden yeah. right you're not buying packaging um you know when you buy right. small items you're paying more if you stop mm -hmm. and think about it um but not only not always when you when you buy in bulk a lot of people or a lot of uh, manufacturers will will get you to thinking okay well we got this person that's actually buying in bulk so we're going to get them so make sure that you for pound for pound or ounce per right. ounce that you make sure that you're uh, you're buying that at a discount when you're you when you are buying in bulk but for the general generally speaking when you buy smaller quantities you're buying that package that right. they're putting putting mm -hmm. that that item in so buy in bulk if you can and learn how to preserve it Okay, so that segues into part number two, and that is buying tomorrow's food at today's prices. It gives you a little more elasticity on when you buy the product, you know, so it's not like, not like milk, you know, you, when you run out, you got to go to the store because it's always got to be fresh, you know, well, if you've got a cow, well, you don't have to worry about that or a goat, <laughs> but um, for the most part, if you can figure out ways to preserve that food, you can wait for those sales to come along so you can buy food cheaper at a quantity at a discounted rate so that that is another way to save on food storage and so food storage is going to give you that give you that uh, flexibility to purchase when when those sales do come up right and then the other thing about that is, you know, going back to again what you said about uh, buying tomorrow's food at today's prices. Well, why do we say that? Because costs of everything are always going up because of the deflation of the dollar, or you can call it inflation if you would like, but you're always going to be paying more. So tomorrow the food's going to be more expensive than it is today. So that's the point there about buying tomorrow's food at today's prices. Right. Okay, and then point number three is it saves you time in the long run. So sure, preserving the food or buying it in bulk and then having to repackage it and whatever to, to be able to have it, you know, sit for a long period of time. You know, if it's grains or, you know, when you're vacuum sealing it into mylar bags and a big buckets. And I do have videos on these things. So I'll go ahead and link to the grain one right up here or you're canning, or you're dehydrating, whatever it is you're doing, yes, these things take time initially to do all this stuff, but once it's done, it's done. You might spend a day, a week, a month getting all this done all at once, and it's done, and now you can spend the rest of the year when you go to, you know, you go to make a meal or or whatever the food is right there and it's ready for you you don't have to spend time running to the store to get what you need or whatever and some stuff if it's canned like say the home canned chilies and stuff then basically all you have to do is heat it up it saves you time in that way so you're cooking in bulk <clears throat> you know when you're cooking in bulk you can can all that stuff and chili is one of those ready-made meals you can do the same thing with meat right. you know you can cook that in bulk Put that in your storage. That saves you time. That saves you money. Mm -hmm. And did I just get, you know, talk about time? Gonna... Yeah. Well, we're talking. That's okay. You're adding in. 
time and money. So that's okay. I mean, so a lot of these points are going to overlap, and you'll see that just like a lot of these subjects will overlap with the other ones. That's just the way it is. But they closely relate. You know? Yeah. So point number four brings us into, well, when you go to buy all this stuff in, in, in bulk and you store it in bulk, guess what? You don't have to go to the store every day. You don't have to use that fuel. You don't have to use that wear and tear on your vehicle to go out, right. spend the time you know, you're going to be spending. But a lot of people, they'll go out every single day and go to the store and bring home that day's meals or the day later, you know, the next day's meals. So if you buy in bulk, if you store up your food, that gives you that elasticity to be able to not go to the, you know, the store. We might go to the store maybe once a week, once every other week. Why not once and, every other week? Right, and the, and the more that we save and the more that we produce here on, on the homestead, the less we're dependent on the store, we can actually go weeks without going to the store if need be. Right. It saves you on fuel, wear and tear on your vehicle, and that all costs money as we know. All right, and then for the <laughs> last point, that is having food storage will help save your sanity. And why is that? Well, it all ties back into all the other points. You've got this food ready to go. Let's say you've had a very busy day because you've been canning all day or because you've been gardening all day or whatever it is and you realized you forgot to pull some meat out of the freezer or forgot to plan what your meal was going to be for that day or you just ran out of time to even make that meal. You can take your food storage, whether it be your freeze-dried foods or your home canned foods and be able to throw a meal together really fast or like I said, Pull that chili out, heat it up, add a little cheese, make a batch of cornbread if you want, and you've got a meal ready to go. And now you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to freak out about it. And also that applies for when you have maybe some spontaneous guests that show up and you're thinking, great, I only prepared enough food for me and Mr. Rain. Well, you can very quickly, yet again, put together a decent sized meal out of what you have in storage and for as many people as you need. It's just really that simple and so you don't have to run, again, you don't have to waste the fuel and the time and your sanity, run into the store to hurry up and grab more stuff because so and so showed up. You're ready to go. It's, it's really important for Mrs. Rain to maintain her sanity it because is. Uh, cast iron skillets fly and all kinds of different things when she goes insane. And they hurt. So that's really important. That's a really important factor to keep keep in mind. <laughs> and for those of you aren't, that are new, that is just basically a running joke. But it it is. I don't really hit Mr. Rain with cast iron skillets. She almost poked me now with a pencil. I think you've probably already seen that. Though. Oh, did I? Yeah. <laughs> She talks with her hands just as much as she talks with her mouth. Hey, and the... I have a license to do that. I'm Italian. That's why I talk with my hands. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what we would like is for you to share with us some of the ways that having a food storage saves you. It doesn't just have to be how it saves you on money. How does it save you in other ways, just like with the time and the sanity and the fuel, which is also a form of saving money, saving fuel. But what are some other benefits that you would like to share with us in having food storage? Well, thank you for watching part four of a multiple part series in food in five, in ways. five ways to save. <laughs> Take care. And God bless. Bye.